Hello everyone, welcome to Matrices in R Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about matrix indexing. The matrix indexing refers to selecting any particular rows, columns, or elements from a matrix using the row and column indices. For indexing, we use the square bracket with uh, the row and column indices of the matrix. Uh, as, as you can see, uh, the index for the, in, uh, the syntax for the indexing here. Uh, let's create a matrix M uh, from a vector X, uh, which has elements from uh, 11, 11 to 25. Uh, this matrix M has five rows and uh, three columns. Uh, now let's go to select rows and columns from the matrix M. So in, the, uh, in this case, in the first case, um, uh, the row index is 1 and the column index is none. That means the entire uh, row 1 will be selected this time. So you can see uh, the first row of the matrix is this one and you can see that particular row is selected uh, in this case. Uh, to select the entire second row, uh, let's use the value 2 to the row index. So you can see we got this the second row here, second row. and. Uh, Similarly, to get this entire second column, uh, we give index 2 uh, to the column and none uh, to the row. So the entire second column is selected in this case, second column this one, 12, 15, 18, 21, and 24, uh, which is selected this time. We can also select multiple rows and columns. So for example, uh, in this case, um, we are selecting two rows, uh, two entire rows from the matrix M. So uh, uh, in this case, the first and second rows uh, are selected because we have given first and second uh, index uh, to the rows uh, for, for matrix M. Similarly, uh, let's, uh, let's select the second and third column of the matrix M. So this is the second and this is the third column of the matrix M. Uh, so now let's talk about selecting uh, particular elements uh, from the matrix. If we give a single index uh, to the matrix, then it's going to select that particular element uh, in column wise order. So uh, let's give a uh, single index 7 to matrix M and see what happens. So it is um, giving the element 15 of the matrix. And let's go and see that matrix and identify that element. So uh, we are trying to find the seventh element of the matrix. So we have to start counting from this first element. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. So this is the seventh element. So we are counting column wise. And um, uh, the column wise counting gave us this 15 as the seventh element. So that's what we got here. Uh, we can also select more than uh, one elements. Um, so uh, let's select fifth, eighth, and twelfth element of matrix M. So uh, these are uh, the required elements. If we provide uh, indices to both row and columns, then the respective element of the matrix will be selected. So th in this time, uh, I'm trying to select an uh, element with um, uh, which is in the fifth row and third column. So let's go and see our matrix. What is that element? Let's let's guess that element first of all. So um, the element in the fifth row and third column. So fifth row is first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and third column is this one. So this is the element um, which is in the fifth row and third column. Uh, so let's see if 25 will be uh, selected from there. Okay, so uh, we got 25. Uh, to select the multiple elements, um, um, we can give the multiple indices to either row or columns. In, in this particular case, uh, I am trying to select uh, elements um, from second, third, and fourth row and uh, second column. Uh, so let's see uh, what are those elements. So. Uh, those elements are 15, 18, and 21. Uh, similarly, we can give um, uh, multiple indices to uh, rows and column, both uh, to 
uh, select the particular um, elements from a matrix. Uh, so, in this case, uh, we are selecting uh, elements uh, which are in the second, third and fourth row and um, first and second column. So, let us see the elements. Okay. So, these are the required elements from matrix M. We can also use a column operator uh, to select elements from the matrix. So, in this case, um, uh, we are selecting the third and fourth row and um, uh, the second and third column elements. So, let us see and uh, what are those elements. Let us uh, guess those elements. Uh, third and fourth column. So, we are selecting elements from this third and this fourth column and our sorry rows, uh, third and fourth rows. So, this is third row and this is fourth row and the column is from 2 to 3. So, column is 2 to 3. So, from this 2 and this is 3 column. So, we are selecting elements uh, from uh, this particular uh, uh, section of the matrix. So, uh, let us see what, what is the result for uh, this particular selection. Okay, so, uh, uh, we, are, we are looking for uh, this particular elements uh, which are in the third and fourth row and uh, uh, second and third column. So, um, that is all about uh, indexing of the matrices. Uh, thank you very much for watching this tutorial.